Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to bring readings to you. However, if they don't resonate, just find another reader. I promise I won't be offended. Um, just a reminder that I am going live on Facebook on the 19th of... Um, oh, there's a brand new start here. There's an offer for a brand new start coming in for you, Aquarius, from probably a water sign. Um, live on Facebook on the 19th of May. 9 a.m. Aussie Goddess Facebook page. You'll have to join the page before you can join the the card pulls. The last time was very successful. Beautiful. I'm going to use the Tarot of the Night here. And you do have the World card coming straight out. So this talks about closing out a cycle. So you're about to move into a new time here. Um, the Justice card is behind that. Wow. This is something divinely divinely guided. And the hanged man, wow, look at all these major arcanas. And behind that, the three of swords. Okay, so somebody has broken your heart or hurt you. You're going into a period of time where you are changing, evolving. This is something karmic here. You need to close out the cycle before you can move forward. But somebody breaking your heart or hurting you has pushed you into this transformation, but it was required in order for you to move ahead. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands coming up first. Now, this is an offer of something. So the Page of Wands is an offer of um, something passionate. It can be a new sort of something you um, feel very passionate about. But the pages are only messages. This isn't a card of action. So it's only receiving a message from someone or notice from someone that they're interested in having a passionate new start with you. Two of Wands. Now, this is about making a decision on how to move forward. But knowing that in that process, somebody is going to get hurt. There will be change. There will be the cutting out of things. There will be the tearing down of things but has to happen for you to make this decision. Now, in the other deck, she's blindfolded. She doesn't want to make this decision. In this card, it's almost like she's able to let something go or die in order to move forward. So in order to make this choice, you may have to let go of something completely. Ten of Cups. But if you want this Ten of Cups, this is what you're going to have to do to move forward here. Okay, five of cups coming in. So it's definitely going to give you a feeling of sadness. Mm, it just brings to mind somebody I know that just left someone to be with someone else. But they still found it very difficult to leave the relationship they had been in. Because although they weren't in love with the person anymore, they still love and respected them. This is the sort of situation that's coming through here, Aquarius, very, very strongly. But it's a brand new stable start that you're moving towards. So it's something that you really want, something this stability is something you've craved. Six of Pentacles, an opportunity to work with someone on something, equal give and take. You may have been in something that wasn't like that. We do have the five of ones coming in here. So you could have been in a situation that no longer no longer was reciprocated so it could be that you felt that the other person wasn't loving you anymore and you're making a decision to move towards someone new king of pentacles so you could be dealing with capricorn taurus virgo here and a king of cups coming in here so this person wants to, something stable and they want something that's based in love as well now this can be your energy even though it's coming up as other aspects it could still be your energy that you because you really feel like you're craving stability here and that you've had to fight for this in the past and now somebody's coming to offer you exactly what you want and it's something equal page of pentacles yep yeah, definitely something that's stable solid and ready to go forward you're going to close out a cycle though in order to do this okay you are moving towards someone new. 
I feel like you've already got someone in your life or you are in a relationship with somebody that you have got to move away because there's this feeling here that you're having to let something die and it's not easy for you. So you're going to be leaving them out in the cold, but I also feel that you are feeling very sad that you have to do this. But you see this new thing or whatever you're moving towards offers you so much more. And you really are starting to understand that you could stay in the situation you were, are in, but it's not bringing you any satisfaction. So you want to move to something that's going to bring you a great deal of satisfaction and love. And this person is really on the same page as you. They want the same thing. So you're moving towards someone to take an offer and also offer the something similar in return. So you're walking away from something that perhaps there was a lot of conflict. It just wasn't comfortable anymore. The love perhaps had worn out. Maybe it was something long term. But you were feeling bored with it and really needing to move on. And it's hard because you're finding that you, whatever you're leaving behind here is heartbreaking as well. So even though you're getting what you want, it's still very stressful having to walk away from something. But I feel like the, the thing you're walking away from only brought you grief. I don't think it was really something um, solid and happy because you're craving this... this um, security of a new relationship here you really want to move towards someone that's going to want the same things as you so it could be that this person's offered you something but maybe you've known them for a little while too because what they're offering you um oh that's interesting so you've got two cards here trust and communicate clearly so i guess both of them are good advice to any one of us aren't they so trust where you're being led and make sure that you communicate, like with this Two of Swords especially, that your intentions to, as to how you're going to move forward. Good outcome, fabulous outcome. You're getting exactly what you want, lots of love and security. But I think leaving behind something is going to be pretty difficult for you, Aquarius. Have a good week.